This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitao. President William Ruto's new administration structure contrasts sharply with that of predecessor Uhuru Kenyatta's governance setup. By an executive order, Ruto triggered a shake-up in government that saw him consolidate key Kenya Kwanza manifesto delivery units into his office. In the new structure, the president realigned crucial departments and state agencies, returning most of the agencies back to parent ministries. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. Slain Barako Teno Odor was part of an advanced security detail of Fido Dinga who was scheduled to attend the battle in Bond on Saturday. Odor arrived in Kisumu on Thursday evening and was expected to receive Ida at the Lake City Airport on Friday, sources told the star. A source aware of the tour told the star that the deceased was expected to receive her on Friday and team up with his colleagues as they head to the burial of Jackton Ajuma at Nyamira village in Bondo, Siaya County. DPP Nudin Haji on Friday made a U-turn on the withdrawal of graft cases against allies of President William Bruto following widespread uproar. After withdrawing the 19 million shillings corruption case against former Malindi Member of Parliament Asia Jumwa last week, Haji had made an application to withdraw a charge against former Samburu Governor Moses Lenol Kulal. The Law Society of Kenya on Thursday demanded an explanation even as calls mounted for the Director of Public Prosecutions quit. President William Bruto on Friday made key appointments, naming former MP Kato Ole Metito the new State House Comptroller. Metito, who unsuccessfully ran for Kajedo Governor on the United Democratic Alliance ticket, will take over from Kinuthi Mbogwa. In the changes announced by Head of Public Service Joseph Kinyua, Ruto also appointed former Cabinet Secretary Felix Koske, the new State House Chief of Staff. The widow of Dutch tycoon Top Cohen, Sarah Wairimo, now wants former DCI boss George Kinoti prosecuted for providing cooked evidence in her husband's murder case. Through her lawyer Philip Murgor, Wairimo asked the Director of Public Prosecutions to order fresh investigations and invite appropriate foreign agencies to team up with officers from the National Police Service. She said there have been a lot of cover-ups and fabrications in the matter. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.